another moto moment uh ah, nothing too special guess what it's an eyeball eyeball with a little bit of an eyelid surrounding it right but uh this is really not what it's about right if you look a little closer this eyeball is sitting right in there real snug uh, let me see how i do this uh right it's sitting in there real snug it's right up it's almost hugging it right just get in there Here's the eyeball inside. Here's the eyelid that's kind of encasing it. But uh, this is really not what it's about. If I look a little closer, go back, turn that on. Uh, let me see if we get it. What you'll see is there are some things in here, right? Uh, where's the other thing? I want to show you this, right? I've got a little eye controller. I've got a couple little rotation effectors set up into this eyelid that trigger the eyelid and then the eyelid and the eyeball feed into this lattice deformer right here that deforms it. I've got this little control here. You'll see it in a second. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Hit O and go back to drawing enable deformers. You see what's happening, right? I dropped these things into that deformer. These things feed up to here, right? Both of those things right here, the eyelid and the eye feed into that thing and it gets deformed, right? It's a pretty cool looking thing, right? And I, by the way, am not a rigger in any stretch of the imagination whatsoever. But for some reason, Moto has allowed me to get this to work, right? I'm not really sure what it's doing, but I followed enough tutorials and read it enough and tinkered with it enough, I can kind of get this to work without any sort of uh, skills, I guess. But uh, if you'll see what happens, right? This stuff feeds up into there here. I'm going to go back to this, uh, turn this lattice deformer off for a moment so we can not see it. So I hit this thing and I got this thing pops up, right? Oh, shit. Put that here. Uh, pin it on, right? You look carefully, you'll see what happens. I can get that thing to go almost all the way up. And it's a pretty simple weight map, so I didn't really tinker with that too much to try to get it straight. You'll see right there. Uh, but I can almost get that thing to shut with just a little bit of work, right? Just a little bit more work and tinkering with the weight map a little bit, I, c I think I can get that thing to close up snug, right? This is obviously some sort of a cart kind of a cartoon deformed character. If this thing was embedded inside of a character's head and part of this was sticking out, whatever purpose this person was having, uh, it would work pretty well, right? It's like uh, the deformer shows you these two rotate first, then it feeds into that lattice deformer that keeps it all nice and snug. Right? Keeps it all nice and snug. Right? You can see where the weight map kind of folds in on itself, easily taken care of with just more uh, more time on the weight map. But you get the idea. Uh, I'm thinking about taking this and putting it into a small little step-by-step -step tutorial for A, the modeling, then putting the deformers in, and then wrapping it all together and to have a little toy to play with, right? It's kind of cool, right? I've just got the uh, rotations on, as you see, just the one-way rotation, but if you really want to, right? You can do this kind of thing, too. Again, where it breaks and bends is up to you to play with the uh, weight maps, right? Let me go to the bottom and see what I can do here. Certainly a little bit broken, but that's what uh, tinkering and playing with weight mapping can take care of, right? Let me see. I should need to go back and 
zero that one and zero that one. You can see my eye control here is was uh whoops was locked into that. That's why I can control that. You can see that little gear there, right? And I think it's kind of cool. You know, it's kind of fun to play with. Interesting stuff. All right? Close this off. Close this down. And uh, interesting things. You can, if you want to rig this thing up, you can sort of play with this too, right? Again, it would be subtle moves, su subtle motions, and things like that. But the fact that these things rotate first and then they hit this deformer last keeps the stuff all lined up nice and pretty right again depending on your own needs right it folds right up in there right and again I'm not a rigger at all so I'm just kind of uh, geeked out that moto is such that just a little bit of work a little bit of studying a little bit of tutorial watching and a lot of and a lot of tinkering will allow uh, somebody who has no idea what they're really doing with it to get some interesting results, right? Uh, let me see. I select that eyeball in there too. Let me see. let me turn that lattice deformer off. All right. I rotate that thing around. It stays snug in there, right? It st stays real snug because again, that lattice deformer is keeping it all in position. zero all this stuff out so I can kind of try to remember where I'm at uh, well, let me just undo go back step 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 sorry about that all right but you guys get the idea oh hey sorry guys I forgot to do something I'm gonna splice this couple of few seconds in uh, again all that deformer action <laughs> Check that out. Crazy, huh? Fun with CGI. Right? All that stuff works. Uh, again, you got to be careful with how you break it. All right? I just grab that main piece and I just twist it around. Oh, ow, 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 oh, ow. Crazy, huh? Now this is something you can do in just about any kind of a 3D package that lets you get into deformers, but we could do it in Moto. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know. And uh, I've got time on my hands over the next few weeks. I might just put this down into a little tutorial. A, modeling that thing up and then dropping in the rotation deformers and getting everything set up and that lattice on top, right? Kind of cool. It's really fun. I mean, if <laughs> all kinds of stuff you can do. Oh, so funny. And really, with the rigging and tying channels together, it's really the imagination is the one, only thing that's uh, kind of holding you back, you know? kind of funny anyway you guys get the idea all right later on I'll talk to you later